everybody. I'm Beth and this is Reggie and this is Micah and this is Rottweilers on video. people, their grandson, and their dogs. Yes, and we hope to bring a perspective from a couple of folks who are a little older and who love this breed and we're not breeders and we just want to pass on information that we learned the hard way because we had some hoops to jump through. So hopefully that'll help you guys. Um, and today we're going to talk, Reggie, about how awesome this breed is. We're gonna make it short and sweet since we have our Micah with us today. And uh, just... Well, you know, these, these dogs, I think, are really working dogs. They are. They they want to plead. They're used to working the, from the inner bread. The Rottweilers uh, hauled uh, meat wagons right. way, way back when. Um, they herded, uh, Believe it or not, they, they herded sheep. We will show you a video one day of Rottweilers herding sheep. Who would have thunk, okay? Um, but they, they're, they're such good working dogs because they want to please. If Can I tell you, my rock story when you're done? If you treat them with all the love and respect and joy, they're gonna lavish you with whatever you want them to do. What do you think, Micah? I think this breed is just one of the best, and that's all I got. That's all I can say. Ah, uh, and what have you what what have you noticed that makes you think that? I've noticed that these dogs, if they're ever bad and stuff, it's never their fault. It's always the and most of the time it's like the owner's fault. There you go. The dogs are these dogs are great dogs. They really are. Um, they really are. We we take the time. Not a breed. For your, uh, you'll see, hear this a lot. If it's your first dog, it's probably not a good idea to start with this breed. I think they require quite a bit of attention, more so, oh, because they they're working dogs. Because, because their whole aim in life is to please you. And Maggie's scared. We just had a firework go off, and she's shaking. And it doesn't phase Max, but it really phases her. I'm so sorry, sweetie. That's a thing to point out. In, in some of the training and in it's some okay. of the shows, they will fire off a 25 caliber pistol with blanks. Um, now, Max doesn't even, he doesn't flinch. You could put a stick of dynamite next to him and blow, he wouldn't flinch. Now, Maggie, <laughs> on the other hand, she doesn't want nothing to do. She'll go hide in the closet. Yeah, so that's that's a big difference. But the breed itself is, my rock story and you guys have seen it i'm sure if you've watched any of our videos if i go to get because we live in western washington and, and our yard grows rocks i mean they pop up because it was a former glacier Maybe. area so if i go dig up a rock they help me if i dig up weeds they That's dig like up weeds whatever it is that i'm doing or reggie's doing Here. they want to be right there with you they will do whatever it takes to please you. They get right into your space, right into your business, um, and it's pretty cool that way. So, and you know those fireworks that we were talking about a minute ago? I have a funny story that happened today. I had a firework work go off, and Maggie was just hiding in the bathroom, just scared, sitting there. Where was she? In the bathroom. My bathroom? Ours. You're, oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounds like her. She wants to get kind of like in a far corner somewhere. Um, my closet's another favorite. <laughs> so yeah, there, there's such a difference between these two dogs. They're, it, they're, We're going to get into that next week more. Yep. Yeah, she if you've seen any video, she's a television nut. She will watch a computer screen. She'll watch a TV screen. Ice phone She'll screen. watch an iPhone screen. Uh, it's it's un it, it's un unbelievable. I've never Don't seen a dog in my life. Maybe even heard one that 
loves things on the video. Loves yeah. videos. Entertainer. Yep. Um, he, on the other hand, is more of a, like, right next to you, you know. I mean, he his ball is his treat. He loves chasing a ball and um, just, you know, just different. And we're going to go into lineages. I found hers, and I, I have to go through more files to find his, so this is a good excuse to get organized. But the breed itself is just incredible. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I've never had such a loyal companion ever. And I'm 60, almost 61. Never have I had a breed or a mixed breed so incredibly friendly and loyal. And what do you want me to do, mom? What do you want me to do, Dad? whatever. That's how these guys roll. So, yeah. That's why when you get one of these dogs, before you get one, you need to decide how much time you're willing to put into a dog. It's not the kind of dog where you can just get up in the morning, feed them, go to work, leave them alone all day, come home and, and feed them and maybe a little bit. These dogs need an extreme, they, they need a great deal of attention. Oh yeah. They truly do. They do. And you'll find yourself enjoying, enjoying them. Yep. Yeah, out with them. You, you, you know, it, it, it's just like, you know, it, it's it's like having another little baby almost, you know, and it's yeah. it's it's so fun. You know, he gets along with uh, Isaac's or Micah's. His brother's name is Isaac. So Micah has a couple of Chihuahuas and an, and another kind of a Golden Retriever mix. But you should see. I mean, these guys are great with the Chihuahuas. They they're gentle with them, and you know, Max just ignores them. But, but he, yeah, he plays with them. Sometimes he does. Yeah. So. Um, Max and Maggie along. have never really gone after any dogs that were in the yard. They really haven't. I they'll don't... go after cats. Yeah. That's, like, they like attacked they'll... our cat before. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he was playing or trying to hurt it. Playing. I guarantee you it was It was playing. probably playing, just like the chickens that you told that story. Yeah, we won't talk about the chickens. Yeah. Anymore. <laughs> but we had a cat. Oh, we had dead. Stampy here. and Yeah. They, they, they chase each other? Even Stampy chased Max sometimes. Yeah, so really that funny. was great. Anyway, so we're going to make this short, and there's some more fireworks, and she is looking pretty serious. She is not liking it. Okay. Still going. And as, as, as this comes to a close, it may not have been informative as you, you, you would like or what it could be, but we, we, we'd like some of your feedback. And uh, what you want to hear about. What you want to hear about, questions that you have, um, anything concerning these dogs and uh, us as owners. Yes, and just so you know, next week, we're gonna show you the pedigree of each of them, talk a little bit about what that pedigree says about each Rottweiler, why they are the way they are, um, and probably not any more than that. Then we're gonna go maybe the week after into the Orthopedic Foundation yeah. for Animals, which is where you have to have all those x-rays done, and uh, you know, just kind of give you guys an understanding of what you're looking for when you go get a good puppy. So, and one other thing, just to note, we are looking for a breedable female, year and a half to two years old. Um, just putting it out there. Yeah, we don't want to not better the breed with this guy. I mean, we want one of the males out of the litter out of at least one of the two litters or we probably won't do more than two litters but they, one litter a year with this guy yeah this guy with a good female you know with the with the good hips and all that i'm telling you would uh, have some wonderful puppies so and we'll um, put some pictures of his his uh what do you call him his what do you call him stud the studded max Oh, uh, Hazelwood Ice? Yeah. Yeah, the, his father. Yeah, his father. His father and his, and his mother. He's uh, got a good mother, too. Yeah. Won some awards, too. So, um. His anyway. father's brother was the 2017 world champion Rottweiler. Yeah. And yeah. it is very provable. And, well, yeah, and his father's Ace, Hazelwood Ice. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, Hazelwood, Hazelwood Ice, Ice is all over the, all over the internet. He, you type, you put in that name and, you know, 
What is uh, Iron's name? Iron, Hazelwood Iron? Um, I'm not sure what Hazelwood is. If that's if that's the late if that's the the breeder from Finland, because Hazelwood Ice was the only one of that that kennel in Finland that's just awesome. Apparently, she let one of hers go. That was Ice. ice. But none others came over. All of them are still in Finland. But Ice was his brother. Out of Ice, the same litter. Ice was his father. Yeah. And Iron, and was, Iron was, was his brother, but he stayed in Finland. So Ice came over from Finland. But Iron's here in, um, I thought Iron was in Vancouver. Nope. nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. All right. He, Stand corrected. So Ice is like the only one that came over from that. I think it is Hazelwood. I apologize for that, but yeah, Ice came over from the, from the Finnish uh, kennel, and uh, and then had several litters, and I'll introduce Isaac. this is one of them. And my other grandson Isaac popped in after a run, and so he is a lover of these dogs as well. Okay, people, we're done. Yeah. This is going to be fun editing this one. Oh, I'm going to not, I'm not cutting anything out. We're going raw. Yeah. That's what it's all about. No fuss, no muss. That's how you get the videos. That's how you get the views. Yeah. The real deal. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, but we did not, we, the, 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 the one before this. Oh, um, we're not letting out the one before this. Yeah, we oh, had, no. to, we, first we started a video. We Fail. stopped it. For the night because it got contentious <laughs> really and then we decided hey let's do this again let's go so, back and let's get her done yeah. yeah so thanks for joining us we will see you next week this is fun for us too oh so. hey, would you hit like and subscribe we'd appreciate that thank you very much have a good fourth of july be safe